Hello, I'm Robert Barton, and today I'll be discussing with y'all why vaccinating your kids should be mandatory. So, the problem. 2.5 million children die each year from diseases that can be prevented by vaccines. That's one child every 20 seconds that dies. And why does this happen? It's because parents have heard these horror stories about vaccinations, and so they choose not to get their kids vaccinated. These horror stories are weakened immune systems, and that's because they think that injecting the disease straight into you would, would weaken your immune system. So you get the disease you're trying to prevent. Again, same reason as number one, because you're injecting that disease into you. And you develop disorders like autism. And while this used to be true because mercury was in the vaccine, this is no longer true because we have made steps, leaps and bounds in our medical technology and we found out that mercury can be harmful, can develop these, so it's no longer in the vaccine. So truth, it actually strengthens, strengthens your immune system because you, when you get the vaccine, you inject the disease into you, but it's a dormant form, so you develop, your body creates antibodies, and those antibodies will prevent you from getting the disease and it being fatal. You're more likely to get it if you don't get vaccinated. Again, you aren't giving your body the chance to produce those antibodies, so you're putting yourself at risk for getting that disease and then your body having no way of fighting. And then extensive studies have been done to come up with a link between autism and vaccines, and they've all come up short. And that's with current vaccines, because like I said earlier, the old vaccines, mercury in them, but now with current vaccines, there's no link. So the solution, I think it should be illegal to vaccinate your kids or not to not vaccinate your kids because you're making a decision that they can't. You're putting them at risk by, by not giving them that fighting chance to prevent them from developing that disease. And then you're putting them at risk because if they get it, then it can be fatal. So you should just ensure their safety by having to give them the vaccine and by making sure that all children get the vaccine by making not vaccinating your kids illegal. So why? You're literally saving the lives of children and not just your own, because when, if someone, if a, a non-vaccinated kid has that disease, he can spread it to others. And not only children, but also just people with uh, immunity deficiencies, they can get that disease and then there's no way for them to fight it because they truly have a weakened immune system. So you need to vaccinate your kids because you're, you're just saving lives in general. You're saving directly the lives of your children. You're saving the lives of other children around yours. And everyone that suffers from some form of immunodeficiency uh, any, anything like that. So now it's your turn. Most of us will have kids of our own one day, and we need to make that decision to vaccinate them and to protect them and give them a fighting chance against these deadly diseases and extend the longevity of their lives. Also, even if you're not having a kid, you should push for vaccines to be mandatory. If, uh, and not vaccinating your kids to be illegal. So by doing this, you would help lower the number of pointless deaths among children because they die in the millions each year. Again, one every 20 seconds because of a disease that can just easily be prevented by getting them vaccinated. So for our work cited, we have the Global Health Security Immunizations by CDC.gov. This is where we got the, our basis, we got the, what, in, what the uh, immunizations do, the vaccines, what they do. And then we have the exploring the reasons behind parental refusal of vaccines from the National Library of Medicine. And this is where we found those horror stories and what, why parents are hesitant to vaccinate their kids. And then we found the deadly choices 
how vaccine move, how the anti-vaccine movement threatens all of us. This is where we got the idea that immunodeficient people and other children can all develop that disease because one kid isn't being vaccinated. And then autism's false prophets, bad science, risky medicine, and the search for a cure. This is where we found out that autism and vaccines were used to be linked because of the mercury that were in the old vaccines. And then we also found out that the new vaccines no longer have that. So the new vaccines are now safe.